Hello developers, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about overlay and overlay entry in Flutter. I will explain you everything in detail including architecture and the diagram, how it works behind the scene. And at the end of this video, I will share a package that will simplify the process of creating overlay and overlay entry in Flutter. Let's quickly understand what are overlays in Flutter. First thing overlay is not any widget in Flutter. This is a kind of stack like we have navigation stack. Similarly, we have overlay stack in Flutter. And in the overlay stack, we can push multiple overlay entries. And why we need overlay? We need overlay because there are multiple scenario like we want to display a loading bar on top of a screen or on top of current UI or we want to show some dialogue or we want to open some tooltip or drop down. So in those kind of scenario, we need overlay. Let's see the architecture. With this diagram, you will be able to understand the architecture of overlay. Let's suppose this is your root app. And in your root app, you have navigator stack. There you place multiple screens or you can say pages. When we use navigator.push, then different different pages are pushed in this navigator stack. So let's change the color of this stack. So this is navigator stack and in this stack we have different different screen. Let's say this is home page. Home page and then from home page we went on profile page. So it will maintain the it will maintain the stack of screen or pages so this is the navigator stack this is your particular screen for example here it is the profile page i'm just expanding this page over here so this is your profile page see the architecture this is your root app then you have the navigator stack in navigator stack you have different different pages so current page is profile page because this is on the top of this navigator stack if you will pop you will go back to home page but now right now we are on the profile page and that's why i have expanded it here so now we are on the profile page and in profile page you will have your widget hierarchy for example you will have a scaffold so i'm again duplicating it and creating it here so this is your scaffold and let's make it white so this is your scaffold so see root app navigator stack then in the navigator stack you have your profile page this is profile page and in your profile page you have this scaffold widget and inside this scaffold widget you will have your widget hierarchy so in the scaffold you in the child of scaffold in the body of scaffold you will have your column so let's say this is column and inside this column you have a couple of widgets like some buttons here let's duplicate it we have multiple buttons here so this is this black one is the column this white one is scaffold and in the column we have multiple buttons so this is the current architecture of our screen now what we want on click of this button we want to show a loader at the center of a screen why you cannot use the normal widget because if i want to show a loader here then in this widget hierarchy like in, inside the body of scaffold we have column inside the column we have buttons and then at the center of this buttons we have to place in this widget tree we have to place that loader that will disturb the position of these buttons and that will not look good at all now what we can do we can use overlay and then it will cover the entire screen and it will show the loader at the center of a screen now let me create the overlay stack so like we have this navigator stack for our root app we have the overlay stack so for on this profile page we have this overlay stack let's change this color and this stack will be independent of your widget tree think of it like navigation stack for your screen the only difference is that in, in your navigation stack you push your different different screens it is used for navigating in your application from one pages to different page but in the overlay stack 
इट इज यूज टू पुट एलिमेंट ओवरले एंट्रीज ऑन टॉप ऑफ इच अदर यू कैन हैव मल्टीपल ओवरले एंट्रीज इन दिस ओवरले स्टैक this overlay stack it is not dependent or it is not inside the widget tree of your screen so that's why this overlay stack can be helpful if you want to show additional widgets on top of your screen now i hope you have understanding around the architecture of overlay in flutter how it works behind the scene now let's see the code and if you have even some doubt it will get cleared in the code demonstration of the overlay and overlay tree to implement overlay tree what we have to do we have to create overlay entry first to so to insert into overlay stack of flutter we have to first create some entries so let's create some entry first so overlay entry so we have this overlay entry overlay entry and then we will create few functions here void so so overlay here we have to pass will context context and then here first we will initialize the overlay entry overlay entry is equal to create let's call it create overlay entry and we will pass context here and then we'll do that part later first let's create that function so i got the suggestion from copilot so overlay entry function name create overlay entry and build context okay let me write it otherwise you will get confused overlay entry create overlay entry and we have to pass build context context and then here inside the return we have to return overlay entry and inside the builder and in the return they have told you you have to use some alignment widgets or position widget to tell where to place this widget on the screen because for this overlay entry the scope is entire screen so let's use alignment align widget alignment dot center and at the child of that center okay for for now let's use top center top center at the child we will sort this screen container just that's it so our create overlay entry is ready and here one weird thing you will notice i will show you what it is i will explain that thing later at that point okay now let's insert this okay i will come to inserting part later so let's here call this if overlay entry is equal to null if it is null what we have to do we have to so overlay and else we have to remove overlay remove overlay and we need to create this function because if we are inserting some elements into the overlay stack we have to remove it as well so for that like we created so overlay let's create another function called void remove overlay overlay entry dot remove and then we have to explicitly make our overlay entry variable as null let's save it will it work no because till now we have used overlay entry everywhere we haven't utilized the overlay stack so where is the connection remaining here on so overlay we got our overlay entry ready by this function create overlay entry but we haven't used this overlay entry anywhere so let's use it for that utilize the overlay stack of the current context like this as you can see this again overlay dot off context notice this this is not overlay entry this is overlay overlay stack overlay dot off context dot insert and this entry that we created just now and that's it let's save it and you will notice this issue just let's see it first let's click on so overlay as you can see this is visible but this text overlay is looking weird there is yellow line so that's why we need to wrap this container widget with material widget and to tell you why so let's hide it first now as you can see now overlay is coming normally as a normal text not something weird so why we need to wrap your overlay entry with material because this this is not in your widget hierarchy like we have material app then inside the home we have home page then in the home page we have scaffold we need scaffold we have bunch of widgets here as you can see the scaffold we have body we have center we have elevated button so all these things are part of widget hierarchy and in the widget hierarchy we have the material app but because 
for overlay stack there is no widget hierarchy that's why we need to explicitly give this material i hope now you got now you understand why we need to provide this material for overlay entry okay so this is the basic example it is ready if you want to do something like if you, let's say i want to show a loader at the center of the screen then what you can do you can just use center and here instead of showing this container you can wrap it with center widget and then inside the child you can show circular progress indicator and let's wrap it with const and save it click on loader and as you can see we got this but you notice something weird right what is weird the entire screen now covered with white screen your button disappeared you are not able to see the previous thing you will say but you told this is a pack you but because we use this material and because of this center it is stretching this material to entire screen that's why we are able to see this white background and for that you can use this here color i think background color okay it is color 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 dot transparent so let's restart it let's click on show overlay as you can see now this is the transparent this complete material is transparent and let's click on again it will be not clickable why even though we made this material transparent but this layer is still he here it still exist so it can be useful to show loader on the screen so for example instead of giving here transparent you can give some semi transparent color like black 38 so let's restart so now in your app if you are interact with some buttons or you are pro processing something by clicking on some button you can just show nice loader like this as you can see now it it looks much more like a real progress bar or the real loader in your app and once the processing is done you can automatically all this remove overlay by using some function or somewhere so like this you can utilize any other thing like you can show pop up here you can show drop down here you can show tool tip here and i have created a video i i remember i created it one or two year back so it is about showing a reaction button like if you will long press on this button it will show few reaction buttons on pop up so that is a very nice use case for overlay so i will give the video link in the description you can watch that video to understand how we can implement dynamic ui like reaction button showing on pop up with the overlay in flutter one last thing i wish to explain here like here i pushed i inserted one overlay entry in this overlay stack similarly you can push here multiple overlay entries because this is a stack you can insert overlay entry 2 or overlay entry 3 so see which one will come on top so loader is coming on top and the red container is coming on bottom so why because this is a stack so first we are inserting the overlay entry overlay entry is coming from this red container and then we are inserting the overlay entry 2 that is this loader so like the stack last inserted one will come at the top so this was the thing i missed and another thing if you want to let's say if you want to dynamically change this ui overlay entry align material so let's say you want this color to dynamically change at some point in your application then we have this method called marks need build so let's say we have a function called void update overlay and here you go we have this property overlay entry we have this method not property overlay entry dot mark needs build you might have seen this method inside your error logs not in the code but for overlay entry you have to use it in code if you want to update overlay entry dynamically and coming to the end bonus like if you don't like this kind of process of showing overlay removing overlay creating overlay entry in a stateful widget and doing all these stuff so all these things are boring and if you want to do all these things quickly then you have this package flutter portal this is exactly used for simplifying the overlay in flutter as you can see here evolved overlay and overlay entry advantage is you will feel like you are using a widget inside a widget structure you will feel like your overlay entry is lying even though behind the scene they are handling doing everything for you but to you to use it you will feel it like it is a part of your widget structure so this is a nice package if you want to so overlay entry if you want to simplify the process of creating and showing overlay entry in flutter okay so 
that's all that's the complete thing about overlane overlane trim shutter i tried my best to explain you everything including architecture inserting multiple entries updating it dynamically and even this package for simplifying everything for you so i hope it will be helpful for you